channel. We're here at, uh, I keep saying Orlando Cart Center, but we're right here at Orlando Cart Center. Uh, we came for a practice day. I snuck one in. Uh, the wife is flying in to Orlando, so tomorrow, not today. So I decided to come out, get some testing in, try a couple of new goodies out on the cart, see if it makes a difference, it makes it a little quicker. Uh, work on Stuart and Chris, helped them up, helped them out today. Uh, we'll be trying some different things, try to get some ball, the ball rolling, but should be a good practice day. Uh, thanks for stopping in. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Uh, it's more of a tutorial video. I will give away how I drive the track, uh, how, you know, maybe how to go fast around the Orlando Kart Center. We all know. I'm not really that fast. Uh, if you really want to go fast, ask uh, Junior, Miguel, or Noah. Yep. <laughs> I need to retire. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. Catch you guys on track. So here we are at Orlando Kart Center, and this is the way I drive the track. Uh, doesn't mean it's the correct way or the quickest way around the track. Uh, I'm just trying to give you guys a little insight on how I drive the track. So we come up here, and right at turn three, going to turn four, I don't shoot to the left, I stay to the right. Uh, I try to get a uh, break early, uh, slow down, and exit quickly. It's just the way I, I like to drive the track and a little bit early. So first session out, track is still a little green. Uh, not a lot of grip, but as the day went on, the track gripped up pretty well. Uh, I have Chris in front of me. Uh, he does a really good job in this section trying to get over to the left side. Uh, once you take that left hander, you can keep it flat out into his hairpin. Now, this hairpin, I like to break a lot earlier than some because uh, I like to get really close to the apex and drive through it. Um, you saw Chris, he went really deep and if you mess up that turn, it's really hard to get going again because this is one of the slowest or if not the slowest turn on the track. Uh, coming up to a flag pull, he does a really good job to get the cart rotated. Uh, once I feel the cart binding up, I just open my hands up and release. So here we go, uh, going back to start finish line, uh, take the right hander, I like to keep it tight. Uh, myself, uh, I like to break a little earlier. Here again, I don't open up to turn four. I keep it tight as well. Uh, then the track opens up to you and then you're able to turn through. Uh, once you get on the break of turn four, once before I hit the apex, I'm back on the gas. Here I like to do a slight lift now or drag the brake a little bit just to get the car rotated. Uh, you can feel the car if it wants to slide out from under you and that's not a good thing sliding. Uh, right when I feel here, I hit the little bump on the right hand side, I get on the brake, I try to get as far left as I can, down flat out to the right hander. I go down to the end of the straightaway. Again, I like to brake earlier than most because uh, I like to get the cart turned and rotated and then back on the gas through the apex. That's uh, what I try to do. Uh, and then here, you're going through the S's of the flagpole. Uh, just stay flat out. Uh, don't lift try to get to the right side of the track and then uh, Just barely lift maybe drag the brake and then take that flag turn uh, Once the grip grips up uh, you can take it a lot quicker, but that's a lap around Orlando Kart Center. Hope it helped So here I'm coming up on Stewart. Uh, you'll see we'll take pretty much similar lines coming up to this little showcase. I don't swing wide. I keep it tight. Uh, I swung a little bit wide just to try to get his toe. Uh, I try to stay off the curb as much as possible. You'll see here he'll get the cart upset. I uh, just went in too hot. Uh, I just don't try to touch the curbs at all when it comes to it. I don't like how it puts my cart. Uh, I don't think I need to touch the curbs here. There are some tracks you need to. Here again I say break early because if you overshoot the turn you lose all your exit speed. Uh, the same thing that happened to Stewart, and then get on with it. Uh, through the yeses as well, I try to stay off the curb. I might touch one going in, but the right-hander, I try to stay off it as much as possible. It just upsets the car. I don't like how it feels. It uh, doesn't place it where I need to place it, and I don't see any benefit at this track to be on the curve. Here I'm behind Chris again. He started to take it. It's later in the session. He's been taking the uh, the turns way better than before, slowing down from them, making sure he's able to turn into them. He was having carburetor issue that we didn't figure out until the very end of the day. Uh, make sure you clean your carb and your slide. And right here, I did not expect him to get on the brakes. I would not think anybody would get on the brakes here. So I basically lift up his rear tire and almost wreck him. Uh, glad I didn't. But I did not expect him to, uh, to hit the brakes. Uh, really did not expect that at all.
Uh, I almost killed him. <laughs> uh, this is my fastest lap of the weekend. Uh, I was on really old tires and the car was handling great. Uh, I take one and two tight again. Uh, the same thing over and over again. I put on my Alfano so I can read if I'm plus or minus. And it's really hard to to basically just read off the Alfano. Because when you think you're going fast, you're really not. And when it feels like you're going slow, you're actually going fast. So put your Alfano. If you see green faster, red slower. Try not to drive always by the seat of your pants. It's hard. I know. I'm one of the ones that does it. But the car was handling great. All the changes I did to the car this weekend, everything I test out, uh, worked out perfectly. If I had new tires, I think I could have hit the 104s, which in heavy would have been really, really good because I've never hit the 104s running at my full weight. So uh, really happy with the test session. Thanks to TB Cart USA for all the help, of course. Uh, thanks Jam Racing Engines for the power plant and thanks for everybody watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys helped. It helped you. So we got everything loaded up. Practicing the books. I think it was a very good productive day. We worked on Chris's car. We adjusted his seat. James comes over here to crash the party. Alright man, stay safe. Yeah, be safe. You gonna run tonight? I think so. Alright. It's James. Uh, they had a really good day in practice as well. So thanks to Orlando Card Center uh, for, for, for giving tons of track time for a very little amount of money. Now, Orlando is one of the premier tracks in Florida and it's in Central Florida. So I don't understand how they cannot get the support they need. I mean, they're going to start offering another engine package which it might be something that i'm thinking about maybe moving towards if some people can't get their shit straight so hopefully that doesn't happen because i like running the 206 but we can't get the support we need down here gotta move to something else right hope you guys enjoy the video catch you guys on track